What's up, everybody? It's your man, DeLuca. Back again with another reaction video. And guess who I got on the screen? Bandmade. So check this out. I put out a video, a reaction video with Bandmade on it. What a reaction that you guys gave me. What feedback you guys gave me. And I appreciate everybody's feedback. Suggestions of songs, suggestions of where to find the videos, suggestions of how to do reaction videos. Because I'm new at this, y'all. I'm new. I'm new at the reaction thing. So I don't know what works and what doesn't work. I'm figuring it out. And with you guys' help, I appreciate it. I'll get there quicker. So, as you see, I have a split screen going on here with me on one side and bandmate on the other. So, this video, now I know I got suggestions from folks saying go to Bandmade's YouTube channel. You can find good stuff there and they probably won't block it. But I definitely will do that, but not today. Not today. So, this is a song that got blocked for me the first time when I tried to use that festival video by those assholes that blocked it. So, this song's called Dice. And uh but this this is an older video taken uh by a fan who's in the front row in Amsterdam, 2018. And the reason I chose 2018 this is before they became who they are now. Now, let me explain my uh, criteria for reaction videos, especially uh, new bands like this, fairly new bands. To me, they're a new band, okay? So I know they've probably been around five, four or five years or something like that, but to me, they're a new band because I'm old. That's why. So my criteria, I want to see them live. I don't want to see no studio recording stuff i don't want to see no music videos i don't want to see anything that they can, can be gone back and re-edited remixed or anything like that i don't want to see none of that i want to see stuff like this on a stage in front of a crowd live taken by a fan video or something like that it can be something like that festival video where it's nice uh nice quality and everything so don't give me no shit about the sound quality or the video quality of this recording because i'm looking for how they sound and how they interact with each other i want to see the good the bad and the ugly i want to see it all because as musicians and if you're a musician who plays out live you know what i'm talking about stuff can go wrong Okay, break a guitar string, the cord, your guitar cord shorts out, doesn't work, pedals don't work, break your snare drum, I want to see it, okay, I want to see the communication between the four, what, how many people in this band, five, I want to see the communication between these people, so this is, this is old school guy looking at new young folks how they do it so i'm looking at it from an old school lens from a guy who's been playing music on stage for years and years and years okay this is in front of a, a smaller crowd before they really got of course to where they're at right now and uh so this is them as when they're not as polished as they probably are right now so enough of my yapping and i might stop it during the video if i see stuff that was another suggestion that I stopped the video. Yes. I can tell already. Listen to that bass. That's a good sound from a phone. Lots of bass. Oh, my girl's barefoot. I 
I could tell, man. I like this bass player. Now, she's the only one I remember the name from the comments. I don't remember the other girls' names. Because I'm a bass player. I care about bass. Her name's Misa. M-I-S-A. I think I got it right. Playing looks like a Fender Jazz. Five string. I like the color. I like the tone. As a bass player or a guitar player, you know what, when somebody talks about tone, you know what they're talking about. She's got a great tone on that five string bass. Playing through an orange amp. Back here looks like a 410. I could be wrong, but it looks like a 410 to me. The head's up there. And got some, looks like got some, uh, some drinky winkies up there. So, looks cool. And, uh, yeah. She's barefoot, too. Misa. <laughs> Now, my girl, the guitar player, the rhythm guitar player, I know, I forget her name, but I know she's like the, one of the main people in the band. Uh, nice guitar, custom guitar. Maybe you, one of you guys can tell me what type of guitar it is. I know it's got the Les Paul body, but uh, I don't know if that's a Les Paul or not. Like, it's definitely custom, but it's, it's built like a Les Paul. But she's got a look, man. I know if I was sitting there watching in the audience... I'd be glued on her because she's got a look, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I like the lead singer too. She cool. Yeah. I like that drummer. He's having a good time back there. This drummer is having a great time. Always smiling. Oh, what's going on here? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. When you watch live performances, band members interact. Okay, that's the kind of stuff I want to see. I want to see how they get along and react with each other. You know, they you know, probably talk. They could be talking about anything. They could be telling a joke, you know, laughing at somebody in the audience, talking about the next song, talking about whatever. Okay, but there's communication on stage. Why? So while the two are up front singing, the three in the back are discussing something. But I like to see the communication. OK, and I like the drummer because she smiles a lot and she's got power and her and Misa have a great chemistry. I could tell with the bass and drums. If your bass and drums suck in a band, if one of those pieces suck or both of them suck, your band's toast. I don't care how good your guitar player is. I don't care how good your singer is or whatever other instrument you got. If that bass player and that drummer suck. It's over. It's over. You ain't going nowhere. Okay? So they got a great rhythm section. They yeah, still communicating. One thing I saw just now, let me go back and let me see if I can catch it. The drummer. Let me see if I can catch it. Let me see. This kind of stuff I've looked for, which is cool. No, let me go back a little farther. Let me go back a little farther. Okay, so we'll start where they're talking. Now watch the drummer.
right there. She dropped her stick. Or maybe she didn't drop her stick, but she's making an adjustment to her kick drum pedal. It could be either one. But this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. She, she, something happened with the equipment. Either the stick got dropped or she, she's making an adjustment on the drum set. Okay? And the song doesn't miss a beat. Does not miss a beat. That's the kind of stuff you look for in a band. Okay? Experienced, experienced bands, and they know, as that saying goes, never let them see you sweat. See? So, yeah, she picked up something or moved something. She has a great time when she plays. She smiles a lot. And why shouldn't she smile? She, she can play. She can. Band, y'all. Oh, we got the devil horns. We got the devil horns on the screen. Uh oh. <laughs> what rock show would be, uh, wouldn't be complete without some devil horns. That's, that's interesting right there, that bass line. Sounded like some uh, disco. That's a nice tone. Oh yeah, girl, right there in my face. Yeah, that's a jazz bass. My favorite bass in the world, jazz bass. I don't know if that's a Fender though, it looks like a knockoff, but it's definitely a jazz configuration. Barefoot too. I dig this. Playing without the shoes, I dig it. Yeah, she's good. 
I got it all. Okay, good. I got it all. Don't want to cut it short. So, man, that is one hard rocking band. They going places. Yes, they are. But like I said, I want to go back and watch an older video as they were coming up. Because I'm sure they're a lot better now, more polished. Well, yeah, because I watched that one video of them uh playing dice at that festival and that was later than this i think that was 2019 or something so you know a year can make a big difference in a band's uh growth so i mean they're solid they're solid i really like the rhythm section i think the rhythm section the bass drums makes makes this band what they are as powerful as they're and i'm biased i gotta admit i'm biased because I'm a bass man. Yes. So my girl Misa is laying it down. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, now the video says, I know the song is Dice on the, the title of this video, but it says Secret My Lips. I don't know if that's part of the title of uh, Dice or if that's a separate song. I don't know what that is. Y'all can let me know. So this is uh, my reaction. To the raw band made. Yes, uncut, unfiltered, no remixes, no second takes. We don't play that on the DeLuca channel. Yeah, we don't play that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and thanks again in advance for watching. I'll be reading all y'all comments, so let me know what y'all got. And keep those suggestions coming. Know any other groups? out there similar to this i know i have the warning i know i have band made now uh what else you got let's check it out i want to see these up and coming groups man because uh for a while there rock and roll was dead man rock and roll was in big trouble and now looks like it's making a, a comeback i like to see that i like to see it i just wish we can get more funk bands back like we used to have back in the day in R&B bands. But well, I'll take the rock bands for now. So keep them coming, y'all. And I'll catch up with you next time. Later.